Hello, hello, it's Alan Davidson, and how are you? Welcome. This is the Tapping Liberation Home Study Course, and I'm here to give you some very specific directions on how to utilize the modules for the emotional brilliance healing process. So the first thing you're going to need is actually this form that uh, you'll see the link to print it out underneath this video and that is the essential worksheet that you'll have for um, this process. So you, I'll be demonstrating on a live person uh, as we go through this and so as I'm working with the person guiding them through this sheet then I want you also to you know take the time stop the video if you need to to fill out the little form so that you have your own unique experience so the first thing that we're going to do is you fill in the um, the emotion that we're working with with each of the chakras so we'll have that with each module and then the first stage is really permission and commitment. We talk to the controller and we talk to the super conscious mind to make sure that we have the voices of the little self and the voice of the non-self, that highest universal good, saying that we have permission to go forward and do this process, uh, as well as in getting a commitment from every aspect of the system, your being, that then allows you to, um, you know, fully embrace the healing that's possible from this session. So we'll do that. And then once we do that, I'll actually ask to speak to the voice of the emotion that we're working with, the toxic emotion, whether it's fear, cravings, anger, shame, or grief. We'll move and speak to that voice. And then I will begin a regression process always invoking the superconscious mind to take us back to a memory that's safe and appropriate to remember at this time. And then just really trusting the wisdom of the superconscious mind and really embrace and go with what comes up. And I'll ask to speak to an earlier memory. And you know, you'll see me guiding the person in the demonstration on, you know, what are the sensations? What's the emotions? What's the story? What's going on? And then to rate the intensity level on zero being totally at ease and at peace with the memory that we're seeing, and then 10 being just excruciatingly intense and powerful and overwhelming. And so we have that. And once we're clear on that, take a breath and then invoke the superconscious mind to take us back to yet an earlier memory. And the same thing, what's the story? What's the sensations? What are the different emotions going on with the story? And then rating the intensity level. And always for yourself, you need to pause the video, do so, and write a short sentence, a word, some phrases that reminds you of actually what was going on in your own memory that you received. And then the intensity level for your experience of that memory. It's very important. You know, even though I'm guiding and, and demonstrating that you allow the superconscious mind to take you back to some memory in your own psyche that's nestled there and still holding on to those sensations and emotions. And then take a breath and then going back to the third memory, an earlier memory. Again, what's the story? the sensations, the emotions, the present, the intensity level of that experience. And so often, you may not have thought about it for years, it might surprise you that it even came up, but as you move into the, the story and the memory, it can become very, very intense. It's often a, an eight, a nine, a 10, an intensity level for people. And then for that fourth memory, I change the invocation just a little bit, take me back to the earliest memory that is safe and appropriate to remember at this time. And um, so just take, you know, take a breath, allow your mind to go blank, and take what comes up. Now, I will tell you that for some people, it's, you know, just right after the birth. You know, for some people, it might be, oh, I was four or five or six. Some people, it's been right after birth. Some people, it's they're still in the womb. And some people even have 
what we would say are past life experiences of trauma that's really impacting and affecting them emotionally in this life. But really just whatever comes up for you is really important and valid and just trust it and go with the process. And then at that time, I'm going to ask you, you know, what's the intensity level of this earliest memory? And then I'm going to ask, what is the vow or the decision or the judgment that you made about yourself or life or the world from this experience? It's usually some limiting um, belief that's been stuck in your psyche ever since this experience and it's been helping to direct your reality. So there's that. Um, and then you'll notice I start to shift and I start tapping with the person in the demonstration. And here is where the magic um, and the miracle of EFT tapping comes in handy and it's what we call borrowed benefits. I invite you to just tap along and repeat after me just like the person in the demonstration. In my experience, having done this with very large groups, having done it many times in teleseminars and webinars and live, that so often as you're tapping along and reciting somebody else's trauma and story and experience that your own intensity level starts to really diminish. And so oftentimes it'll go to a zero by the time the person that I'm demonstrating with goes to a zero. So again, trust the process. And if in the demonstration video we decide to move on to another memory and you feel like you're not quite to that zero point yet just make a note to yourself and um, you've got some more tapping to do at that level and this is your opportunity to really go back and to clear that out and get it to a complete zero so that you can really really be free of all this energy you've been holding on and then move forward with your life and we work up the four memories and making sure that they're zero. And I'll tell you many times you do a thorough, thorough job on that earliest memory. And so often the rest of the memories um, are already at a zero as we go back up the, the ladder. But for some of these emotions that have been disowned and stuffed in the dungeon for a very long time, um, it does take actually working with each of the memories. Uh, and the, the sort of intensity and trauma that's held there. So just go with the demonstration, trust the process. If you need to go back to one of your memories and do some tapping, then please do. And then to wrap up the, the healing process, then we start, we move into some of the different um, enlightened voices to embrace these now healed memories and experiences and emotions and help to transform them into um, whole and healing and loving experiences with the new skill set that you have to use these emotions wisely when situations come up. And then at the very end we ask to speak to the voice of the master which is sort of that fully enlightened, fully embodied, fully present aspect of yourself that transcends both of the little self and the non-self, the, the enlightened aspect, and then comes to the apex where it transcends and includes and fully integrates all aspects of your consciousness. But then in that apex point, we ask, what is the new decision? What's the new judgment that you choose to make about life at this point after this experience? And just take whatever wisdom is given to you from the superconscious mind and the voice, this high voice of universal clarity. And I invite you to make that um, an emotion. Excuse me, make it an affirmation for the next 21 days. Tap with it use it and integrate it into your life. So that's just a brief synopsis of how to use this process and make it work for you. Um, so when you're ready, print out your little worksheet, the Emotional Brilliance Worksheet, and then watch the demonstration. And I'd love to hear about your experience as you go along. Thank you.